Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. Welcome everyone to Chance Design and DIY Projects where I make affordable and trendy crafts weekly. Now for today's project, we're keeping it affordable, but we're not going to Dollar Tree today. We are doing a canvas art, but before we get into all the fun fabulousness, you know I have to take the time out to thank you guys for being with me here today. Thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Now, if you're new or you just haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notification bell so you can know when I drop a video. Now, normally, I would show you guys all my materials before I use it so you know what I'm using while I'm using it. But for today's project, I am going to be using a lot of materials. So we're going to take it step by step, but I want you guys to trust the process. I got you. I'm going to make this fun, simple, and easy for you guys. So we are going to set up, and we're going to come back, and we're going to get started. So we'll be back. Guys, so like I said, we are working on canvas art for today. This is actually something that I had before that I want to spruce up a little bit and I want to change the color. I am no longer into yellow. I'm doing purple. So I want to change this up. But before we can change up anything on it, we want to work on a clean slate canvas. So we are going to be spraying it with our white spray paint that I got from Hobby Lobby. So we're going to set up for this part and then we're going to spray the canvas, leave it to dry, and then we continue working. All right, so let's do that. All right, everyone, so the next set of products that we will be using are acrylic paint and a clean and sturdy paintbrush. So I have a metallic silver. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I have some metallic purple in different shades or tone. I also got those from Hobby Lobby and then I have some white acrylic that I got from Walmart.
So I pretty much just transition in a little bit of purple in the silver and a little bit of silver in the purple. The, the harsh transition line that you see in, it doesn't really matter because we are going to cover it with additional products once this is finished drying. So we're gonna leave this to dry and then we'll be back. The paint is pretty much dry enough for us to work on it. Our next step and our next set of materials we're going to be using resin. So I have my resin right here. My resin is part A and part B. If you guys do not know about resin and the precautions to take while you're using resin, I have previous videos on my YouTube channel that I explain how to mix it and your precautions to take, all right? So the resin is going to be our glue base for what we're doing now, right? Then we have some drill that I got from Hobby Lobby. We're going in with these drill as well as some crushed glass. So this is the end of this video for today. We're going to leave it to set overnight and then we're going to come back tomorrow and wrap everything up. So in the meantime, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome back. Like I said, we left the project overnight to set because we did use resin as the glue base for our glam decor yesterday. So we are just going to brush off the excess glitter and uh, if there's excess glass on it that did not set. So that's what we're gonna do now. So this is the end result of this one. And then we also have this one right here. Like I said, I did it as a pier. So once I put it on the wall, you guys are gonna see like how everything turned out. Thank you guys for being with me here today. Thank you for watching like always. And I will see you guys on another episode of Shan's DIY. Bye guys.